What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. I wanted to start it off with that particular um, post first because, man, that was tough to read and very, very cringe. Um, dude needs to just walk away. He just needs to leave her alone. Um, there's one thing, are you trying to be supportive? And I'm sorry, my friend, but that came off very, very Beta. because there's no way in hell that I'm going to support that. And then when she gets upset that things are not going well, instead of you telling her to just get a real job, you decide to start making fake accounts. And then lo and behold, you were dumb enough to make an account of an actually good looking dude who more than likely was probably better looking than you. Otherwise, she wouldn't feel, feel the need that exercise her hypergamy and now she's over here trying to get flown out by a fake profile now you just over here looking stupid so bro you should have just walked away all right now let's go ahead and jump into these clips check out this video it are not pursuing life paths that can carry them into their 30s, 40s, and 50s, or something that they can pass on to their children. How are you gonna pass on this? What kind of legacy are you creating? This mood, this feeling that you have right now, this trend, this will pass when you get older, when you're done with this. But the scars are gonna be on the internet forever for the rest of your life, for the rest of your children's lives, for the rest of your grandchildren's lives. Also, you're not building a legacy for yourself. You're not learning skills, you're not developing traits that you can use to integrate yourself into the world. I hear a lot of female creators online saying that men are upset about the OF trend because women are finally in control of their money, their bodies, their sexuality, because they cut out the middleman. That's not it. It's because there are way too many of y'all, lots and lots of good girls are coming out of school and jumping right into this with no thought, with their young little brains, not thinking about the future. Do not trust your young mind. You think you're okay with this now, you will not be when you come out of this phase. Save yourself, save your future generations from what's to come. Your kids will not be able to handle this. Your grandchildren will not be able to handle this. I know you can't think that far ahead because I mean, when I was 18, I thought I'd be dead at 30. There's no way I thought I'd be living past that age, but here I am. And the mind I had as a young person is not the mind that I have now. Trust me. Listen to other women who've been in the industry and who've left the industry, the scars it left on them, what they're dealing with, with families, with marriages, if you could even get a marriage. It won't last. Go through one of those other doors. You'll be a lot better off. And the sad part is, is that most of women are not gonna listen to anything that woman had to say. Um, and here's the thing, 
I want to I want to chime in on the part where she said cutting all the off, off the middleman. Um, some of these women that do OnlyFans are not even paying taxes. One and two, because they're, they're and two, they're taking out twenty percent of whatever they make anyway. And three, OnlyFans was invented by a man. And four, y'all need the so the so the so called simp's and weak men in order to make this money. Because any man that's on his purpose and on his masculine on his square is not gonna be wasting money just to see, just to look at other women. Like, come on. Like, let, let, let's be for real here. Y'all ain't cut out, y'all y'all ain't cut out the middle, man. I'm like, if anything, all you did was make it harder for you to obtain a man by doing this. Because most men are not gonna accept this. And honestly, women, if you're doing OnlyFans for a living, you should question any man that is okay with you doing this. You should really... See, this is how I know women don't, don't think logically. Because as men, we, we're thinking about... We're, we, you, we know how each other think. If a man is okay with having a girl who do an OnlyFans, it's either one or two reasons. It's because he's relying on her financially, and he doesn't have a backbone, and that's probably he thinks that's probably the best he can do from a look standpoint. Or two, he genuinely doesn't care and doesn't take you that seriously because he probably got other women on the side either. So it's either one of those two things. But see, women don't think about that. Why? Because deep down, these new modern age women, they want control over a man. And what better way than have controlling over a man than having an OnlyFans and you can only deal with men below you because men above you don't care how much money you make and really don't want to be seen with a woman that all, all men got access to. All right, next clip. I was a stripper. I did OnlyFans. I live in my truth. And I am ashamed at the behavior I've done because I am now 28 years old. I'm actually 28 years young on this earth. And I can say that I'm ashamed because of a lot of different reasons. I can sit here and I can talk to women and explain to, to uh, younger girls coming up and things. And I thought it was cool. I thought this is what I wanted to do. I thought this is how I wanted to live. But all these females that you guys look up to in the industry, that the, the media pushes you, they're all miserable. They have no peace. They cry every night. They are not happy with themselves. They hate themselves so much so they get surgeries and they try to fit themselves to be in something they're not and they're never gonna fulfill it because they're not fulfilled on the inside i was it's really coming to no surprise that i'm starting to see more and more women come out and express regretting starting in only fans now she's 28 bro so i mean yo she is right there bro she's right there she Ain't no telling how long she been doing it. I'd imagine based on how she went about expressing her feelings on this, she might've started this as early as 18. And you're starting to see that a lot too. You got women, you got girls out here that are 16, 17, and they've already made up their mind. They're gonna start OnlyFans as soon as they graduate from high school. See, that's why when, I don't know, I can't remember, the catch me outside chick. That's why when she wanted to sit over here and call all these men pervs, I'm like, yeah, but you, but you, but that 10 million that you made off of those pervs, you ain't waste no time taking advantage of it and cashing out on it and buying homes, right? Yeah, they ain't, they wasn't so pervy then when you were spending money on these new houses in uh, Florida, right? See, walking contradictions. But most women are not going to be successful on only. Like, let, let's just keep it above. I can, bro, if I really wanted to, I can show y'all a few women that have that have an OnlyFans that have literally slid me DMs telling me to subscribe to their content. Shout out to Dread Mike 73 man. One of my subscribers, he sends me content to react to all the time. He went through the same thing. And he, and I remember he showed me a video. He respectfully, respectfully declined and this woman had the nerve to sit over here and throw ad hominem attacks at him. 
So that right there just goes to show you how entitled these women are to your money. And I gotta hold, I gotta hold these weak men accountable also because y'all are the reason why they think they can do this. Y'all are the reason why OnlyFans exists. And y'all are the reason why these women hate spaces like this because we're trying to wake y'all up. Because the more that we wake y'all up, the less of a bag that they have. Deep down, women know that they need men to survive one way or another. Yeah, y'all make y'all own money. But like I said, our OnlyFans was created by a man. And y'all need men in order to make money off of it. Because ain't no women over here subscribe to y'all shit. If it is a very, very small percent. You must unlearn what you have learned. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way I know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. Helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Also, merch line and my latest mixtape. And I got a new one actually coming out here in the next week or so. So until the next video, y'all, deuces.